Hi, and welcome to another VentureCraft tutorial. For this tutorial, we'll be covering how to make a weather machine. Note that, unlike my previous tutorials, uh, just a number of parts involved, I've went ahead and pre-built the weather machine. But we're going to cover how to make it, and how it works, and how weather in itself works in uh, VentureCraft. So we can see this uh, weather machine is a bunch of buttons uh, with signs to explain each of their functions. So let's see. The first two buttons over here on the left, this controls precipitation. One turns precipitation on, and the other one turns it off. So if I press on, what we'll see is we got snow all the way over here, and we have rain on this side. I turn it off button, and it turns it all off. But let's go ahead and turn it back on. So the three buttons here in the middle, this controls the temperature. Um, the cold button is going to make it snow everywhere. And where we saw snow, uh, rain over here before, we see snow. And we can see it's actually gathering uh, snow on the ground as it snows. Now the hot button, if we press this, will make it all rain. And we can see now the rain on this side is actually melting the snow away. But let's go ahead and back, set it back to normal. So the last two buttons here on the right control the time of day. So there's a button for nighttime. You can see it's all night now. And the other one puts it to day. So that covers the basics of the buttons. So now how weather itself works in Adventure Craft, there's two types of precipitation as we've seen, uh, rain or snow. And what controls the uh, whether it's going to rain or snow is the blocked temperature plus a temperature offset. So when precipitation is falling, if the temperature at that block is considered to be below 0 0.5, it snows. And if it's above 0 0.5, it will be raining. So snow itself results in snow cover as we saw before. And rain will actually melt um, snow. Now it takes about three minutes uh, to either completely cover a chunk in snow or completely melt the chunks of snow. So enough discussing the, uh, how weather itself works and onto actually the machine itself. So it's fairly simple. Uh, when you press one of these buttons, this redstone trigger here in the back will activate, which will then trigger the uh, red weather block. And the weather block can control the various uh, settings. So if we see this one, this weather block over here has been set up so it changes time to 6084, uh, which will set it to daytime. Um, the top button over here, you can either start precipitation, stop precipitation, or doesn't actually affect the precipitation. The middle button can be used to change the temperature, if it's set to change temperature, and then we'll read off the temperature offset off the button itself. So this will be added to the block's temperature, as I said before, and then that final um, added number controls whether it's snow or rain. And changing time and not changing time is the same. And we can see that this one's changed it to nighttime at 18084. Uh, this one here changes the time, uh, doesn't change the time, but changes the temperature offset to 1.00, forcing everything to be rain. This one sets the offset to 0, 0.0, so it's normal, negative 1.0, so everything's snow. And these two, you can see stop precipitation and uh, start precipitation. So that covers how the weather machine works, and I hope that you've. Uh, Enjoy this tutorial and we'll watch more AdventureCraft tutorials in the future. And thank you.